What's up guys, welcome to this episode of Video Game Hunting. I uh, have a lot of pickups over the last couple of weeks, so let's go ahead and dive right in. Uh, first up, some things that I actually did not buy that were actually donated to me, uh, to the channel, which is awesome. First one is, I gotta shout him out, Omar, one of my students, actually sent a game, gave me a game the other day. I was ma made sure that he wanted to give it. I was like, are you sure? Are you positive? I mean, I don't want to take it if you want to keep it. And he's like, no, I want to give it to you. And I was like, okay, I'll hold on to it as long as you want me to hold on to it. Um, so anyway, as long as he doesn't want it back, I'll keep it forever. And that is Mulan on the Game Boy. So that is really cool. And he even left a little note. It says, not in the best condition, but really fun. So I look forward to trying that out. Thank you, Omar. That is really cool, man. Um, so, uh, moving on, we have, uh, some couple items from my friend Boo Tedesco, and, uh, she wanted to help out the channel by donating one of her microphones. So, it is a USB microphone, very cool, apparently, Boyfriend, uh, bought her a better one, and, uh, she decided to give this one to me, which is, I'm sure, far superior than anything I have for, uh, sound quality, so been trying to get some live stream going I'm trying to work out a couple of kinks it's not as easy on a Mac for some reason but anyway um, that would be perfect for that and also she brought this to me the other day which is really awesome um, I don't have this game it's one of the most common games on the system but really happy to add it to the collection and that is Super Scope 6 the Super NES Super Scope 6 game uh, light gun sh um, game and not only that, but she gave me the uh, receiver to it as well. So now I can officially play a light gun shooter with my uh, Super Scope. So that is freaking awesome. Thank you so much, Boo. Please make sure you check out her channel. She has some awesome content. Been playing um, games like Metal Gear Solid, uh, Resident Evil, Tomb Raider. Uh, and uh, all the God of War so far, one, two, and three. So I think she's looking to play some more of those uh, soon. But anyway, check her out. Um, okay, so on to the pickups that I actually bought myself. And uh, yeah, first up, let's get these out of the way. Pick these two up on Mercari for like 22 bucks. And I needed to get one of them back in the collection because I love playing uh, this so much. And that is Mario Kart 7. And I, along with it, I got Mario 3D World. Um, so, pretty cool. Really happy to get the Mario Kart 7 back in the collection, especially. Because I like to play with my friends with all my DS's. So, pretty cool. Um, Alright. Next pick up here. So, this was a couple weeks ago. Um, found good some good selling items here at this Goodwill. Uh, first up. Insanity workout DVD set from Beachbody for $7.99. Should be a quick flip for like 20, 25 bucks. Also picked up a toner cartridge um, that, that apparently is magenta. It's still sealed up in there. It's a few years old, but we'll see if I can make a buck off of that. Maybe 30 or 40 bucks. Also, I picked up a couple of games for the system. They sounded pretty interesting. I don't know how good they are. Probably some shovelware, but who knows. Build and Race. What's that interested me about this one is you can customize your own tracks and everything. So, and then race on it. So it sounds pretty cool. Maybe some fun. Who knows? But that is complete. Um, all these games were $2.99. And we picked up Monster Truck Mayhem. So that is complete. Also made the same publisher, Zoo. And then we picked up Monster Mayhem Build and Battle. Make your own monsters, I mean. Sounds pretty fun, so I look forward to trying it out. That is also complete. Now, the cool thing was at this Goodwill, they, uh, this is the first time I've seen an actual system there for a long time. And uh, for $24.99, I decided to pick it up. And that was an original Wii. There's, of course, the flaps for, um, well, that's, that's coming open. Um, GameCube ports. I'll I'll put that back on there. But anyway, for twenty four ninety nine, as you can see, 
was uh, hoping for a bonus game in there, and it did have a bonus game, which was Just Dance 4. So, I mean, it could have been a GameCube game. I was hoping, like, Fire Emblem or something like that would be inside. But, <laughs> I mean, what's the likelihood of that? But the system, I should double up, be able to double up on that. 50 or 60 bucks, just for system only. And the game should be around 10 bucks. So, not a bad buy. I think it was that same Saturday that I went by Second and Charles and picked up a couple of items. Um, these all ha were with a teacher discount, so I'll try to see if I can put that below. But uh, for less than 10 bucks, we got a NES, excuse me, excuse me, a SNES power brick. So, power supply. That's awesome. These could usually go for like 20, 25 bucks. Um, picked up a racing game on the Super Nintendo, which is called Cyberspin. Apparently it's a very frustrating racing game, but I look forward to trying it out and adding it to the collection. And I'm always happy to find uh, older guides, and for one that's like almost 30 years old, it's pretty cool. The guide for Donkey Kong Country on the Super Nintendo. So that was like uh, $6.95, um, the game was $3.85, but anyway. Yeah, so that's really cool, really, I mean, I love collecting anything SNES, so the guides are awesome. All right, speaking of guides, we have some more here. Um, we picked these up at my local bookstore that's like right down the street from where I am. Um, and uh, was really happy to pick these up. First up, for $4.20, we picked up the guide to WWE SmackDown, Here Comes the Pain with Brock Lesnar. Um, has all the pictures of some of these wrestlers in here. So, pretty awesome. Um, game has been going up in value. Guide's like 20 or 30 bucks, so hopefully I can make some decent profit off that. Some guides that I'm keeping. We have the totally unauthorized strategy guide for Siphon Filter for $2.25. really like these unauthorized ones because sometimes they tell you stuff that the official ones don't tell you. Um, picked up the official collector's edition guide for Perfect Dark on the N64. Picked that up for $5.52. I like how shiny it is. It's pretty awesome. Got some pretty cool artwork in there. And it even has the poster that comes with it. So that is freaking sweet, man. So happy to add that. And then it had an RPG guide that I don't think I have, um, which is to dot hack mutation. So that's cool. Um, this one was $10, but uh, always happy to add an RPG guide like this to the to the collection. And then I got to credit my man, Lucky Collector, for with his eagle eye, he saw this. And there's like only one on Amazon for like 50 bucks or something crazy. Um, but he saw this guide and I went back and picked it up. Thank God it was still there. And that was the guide to Turok 3 Shadow of Oblivion. So, pretty awesome. Didn't have, have any idea that this had any value. Um, and I guess I didn't realize it, because usually I pick up, try to pick up N64 guides and older guides like that. So, I'm really happy to add that to the collection as well. Um, could flip it, but I think I want to keep it. Um, and then, speaking of guides, these actually I picked up today. I'm going to save my um, pickups from the other day for last year. But um, each of these, I rounded up to nine bucks, so they pretty much three dollars a piece. Um, we got the guide to Super Smash Brothers for the 3DS and Wii U. So it's a thick book for I don't know why for a fighting game. We have uh, Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare. Looks like it had a poster in there. Is that a poster? No, it's just some kind of advertisement. So cool. And I'm actually playing this game now. Um, I started it a while back, but didn't get very far. And now I've been inspired because of Boo's videos on God of War 3. Got the book for God of War. So, very cool. Very helpful for a game so big like God of War. It's a very open world experience, so that'll be helpful. Um, Alright, so... The other day, before I went to this game store, I went to my uh, uh, Second and Charles over that way and didn't really find anything there. 
Um, but I did find a book in the free bin, a uh, art book on Frida Kahlo, which is cool because I love talking about that artist with my students. And it was free. It's like a $20 book, so pretty cool. And finally, the pickups from my local retro game store, E-Starland. Um, yeah, spent way too much money there, but I should be, be able to get at least most, you know, a good portion of my money back from certain items here. I could get all my money back if I wanted to sell these guides, but I kind of want to keep them. But the first one is, actually, I'm going to be trading to my friend, um, Lucky, but it is the guide for Manichemia, Alchemist of Al Revis. All right, so that's pretty awesome. A little RPG, one of the smaller books like those. I picked that one up, too, for this one. I thought this one had a little bit more value, but it's still cool. Uh, I got the guide for Disgaea, Afternoon of Darkness for the PSP. Um, all these guides were between 5 to fifteen dollars each um these i think most of them are around five to ten so i think that one's closer to five so it was manichemia these might have been closer to ten here uh legend of the gaia so it's like a forty dollar guide so i'm really happy to have this one um especially a ps1 rpg guide so that's awesome it's like 10 12 bucks or something like that i don't even know and then I think this one was the priciest one I got for like $15, but it's like a $50 guide. And that is the guide for Digimon World. Another RPG on the PS1. Shows you about all the different Digivolutions and all the Digimon. So that is freaking cool. And speaking of something really cool, didn't even know this had a guide. And for like 10 bucks or something, I had to pick it up. Guide to Mario Paint, another like forty dollar guide, um, and the cool thing is it like shows you how to make. Look, look at that! You can make Link um, and the little fairies. You can make your own. And it shows you how to make um, Chun Li and Guile. Um, really cool, and even has the music things as well in there. So it shows you how to like actually make the pixelated uh, versions of these characters and stuff. So that's awesome. And then, uh, yeah, on to the games, which we have two pretty awesome games here. And uh, the first one is, um, this is what I noticed in their little shop. I can't remember what they call it, but they have some good prices there. I found Crusader Sinti back there. Um, this was $34, and I didn't think, uh, I think probably people pass over it because you can't see the title from the front of it. Um, and that game is War song. So, uh, strategy RPG on the Sega Genesis. This game has been climbing up in price a little bit, and uh, for $34, I thought it was pretty good, even though it has some scarring there and a little sun fading there. This is like a $60 game, uh, loose. So, I'm going to ask 60 It might take a little less because of the damages on it, but still, pretty cool pickup for $34. Bucks. And this one I spent way too much on. This was like 160 bucks. I was hoping it had the manual. They did tell me it did not. But I was like, eh, it's probably still like the cheapest one I can find. Because like everything video games is crazy right now. And this was one I wanted to complete. And uh, still need the map for it. But anyway, Brigadine, The Legend of Orsena. Very clean um, case for the game. I checked it out too to make sure it was authentic, and it was um, no manual, like I said, and no map, but it does have a game, the game, which I was the main reason why I wanted to get this. Um, it has been resurfaced because I know they want to have their discs look pretty, but you know I wouldn't have minded having scratches more than this resurfacing. But these old PS1 discs are pretty uh, sturdy. But anyway, pick that one up. Um, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to sell the ca extra case. I have already have the case. I'm probably going to keep this one because it's in slightly better condition. Um, and sell this case for this extra case for like 60 bucks maybe. Um, and take the manual that I already have in that one and put that with the new one. And uh, yeah, hopefully make a little bit of money back. But uh, those are my game pickups. Um, 
we have one more thing for you guys, which is the power play. All right, guys, here is my power play for the week. Um, this is a 52 inch Sony Bravia. Um, as you can see, it's got pretty good um, graphics here. It's a uh, can run in 1080p, I believe. So it's pretty awesome. They had it at 59.99, which is already a pretty decent deal for this television. I think it goes for like 150 bucks or something. But um, I looked up what color it was for the week, and it turns out green was the color I was looking for because paid 29. Oops. Wow, really, it won't focus. Paid $29.99 for this beautiful television here. Um, <laughs> it's funny because I want to get a stand for it and it costs more than the actual television I paid, the price I paid for it. But I'm um, hoping to uh, find a stand for it on the cheap and uh, I'll be able to put this maybe upstairs. But anyway, yeah, pretty cool. All right, guys, that does it for this episode. Hope you guys like the pickups. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Love reading those um, and commenting back. Um, anyway, let me know what you guys think. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you later.